Another TBR video? What am I thinking? <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Blue, and welcome back to my channel. I know, I'm excited too. This is like two videos in like two weeks. Like it's getting crazy now. <laughs> I'm actually a, little, actually a little bit on track. So, today is Wednesday and it is already the fourth day in the month and I, of course, have done nothing this month. Um, I finished a book. That was it. <laughs> it wasn't for any of the readathons I was supposed to be doing. It was just like, oh, I have one more book. I have to get back to the library, so I'm going to read it. So I haven't read. Well, I haven't read hardly anything for the for the monsterathon. I haven't read anything for the horcruxathon. Uh, all I've done is read like one book for my book battle, which I hadn't even really planned on doing. I was going to skip it and maybe do it one in October. And now I'm not gonna do anything in October. I'm just gonna be like, nope, if it's a readathon or any kind of, of reading challenge, I'm out. I cannot, I have to take a month. I have, and October is already crazy for me because I make all our own costumes. So yeah, not going to be doing any kind of reading in October. I will still be on book Twitter. I will still be on, on here and hopefully maybe do some book tags and some I've been binge watching some smaller channels, so I've been having a lot of fun. Um, little things. Shoot, I had planned on doing a TBR video for the Horcruxathon, but literally 90% of the books that I'm reading for the Monsterathon can be like transferred over. I'm actually looking for my, I've got it kicking around. Here it is. And so like, it would be easier for me to just be like, oh, here are the categories. And then you can see the books over on that chat, on that category. But it really works well that there are so many that are kind of duplicate, which is why I agreed to do the the book battle in the first place because again, you have books like um, we need to read a book to movie adaptation and I'm reading 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea for the Monster Thon. So guess what? That works. We have to read a book set in a castle and I'm reading uh, Hunting Prince Dracula for Monster Thon for the Horcruxathon, so that works, again. So, like, there's little things that make the three reading challenges kind of work together, which is so brilliant, which I really, really often try to do. Like, I think that's why I haven't done things like, well, I wouldn't do this Mudathon anyway, but, like, why I don't pick specific genres, and I know I could probably easily do, like, if there was ever a cozy readathon, <laughs> Cortagonist, Courtney, I'm, I'm, challenging you to write one, to create one. Um, if there's ever like any kind of cozy mystery readathon, I know that I would be completely able to read so many because that's my, that's my jam. I love those books so much. So, and again, I have two this month, at least, <laughs> to get off my plate. So the, um, first of all, I'm going to show off my page because I am super proud of how it turned out. Like there's my, there's, isn't that beautiful? I love drawing. The, I love drawing my snack. <laughs> I am a Ravenclaw. I am not a Slytherin entirely. I do have some tendencies though, I've been told. But mostly I'm, mostly I'm Ravenclaw. And uh, so like the drawing the snake is a lot of fun. Not that drawing the eagle isn't, but it's a lot harder. So for um, last year when I did the Horcruxathon, what it focused on primarily was what the objects were. So you had the locket, you had the cup, you had the uh, the ring, so on and so forth, the diary. And so each of those had to be like, you need to read, for the ring, you had to read a book that had a wedding in it or contained a ring. You had to read for uh, Nagini, you had to read a book that had a snake on the cover or you know that kind of thing so this time they're primarily focused on how the horcruxes were destroyed which is a totally different adventure but still like within the same eight seven or eight horcruxes eight seven seven and a bonus book that's what we're doing so number one the first one I'm doing which you will recognize again from the monster -a thon is I, uh, Tom Riddle's diary, which was stabbed with a basilisk fang. Now for the for that, I have to read a book that 
features poison. Now I could easily read um, one of the many beautiful books written by Kendara Blake. The see, I remember it this time, <laughs> but these ones are the the four dark, the the two dark crowns, the four dark queens. I don't know those series. <laughs> And they're, they're very good, they're very well written, and there's definitely poison involved in those series, in that series. So if I wanted to, and I know a lot of people who are doing the Horcruxathon have chosen those books. I'm doing a book called Poison Study, which I found on Hoopla, so I'm super excited by that. It's also a book I'm doing for the Monsterathon. See? They match. <laughs> uh, secondly, I'm doing... Um, Maruto Gaunt's ring and I hope I said that right because I honestly don't even remember if I wrote it right but he's got the ring and uh the ring was destroyed by being cut with Gryffindor sword and so we need to read a book with goblins and I actually had to go back to one of my Facebook groups and be like I want a book with goblins that doesn't do like a whole bunch of like magic like I, I'm trying to, not that they're not fantastic, but I'm trying to avoid reading Harry Potter again. Because <laughs> it feels like it's a Harry Potter readathon. I don't want to read a Harry Potter book for the Harry Potter readathon because I feel like that's a little bit of a cop out. So, um, that one, yeah, it was, sorry, I'm, I'm moving on. I read, got, I'm reading God Save the Queen for that one. And again, that one falls under multiple genres in my monster thought so that's the like see i love it when they match okay here we are again um slytherin's locket was stabbed again by the sword and this one i need to read something that has uh i need to read a book with silver or rubies or with red or silver on the cover and i picked this one and this one like it wasn't even it's not even something that would interest me but I kind of, oh geez, <laughs> this silver is making it very reflective. But this book is called Ultraviolet and I'm super excited because she kind of wakes up not realizing who she is and then she discovers she has powers, which I know it's kind of like been done to death, but even like the light is kind of playing on my face. Yay! So, um, <laughs> so, and it's, the tagline is everything you believe is wrong. So I'm super excited to read that. I started opening I started I'm only I like half a chapter in but I'm already excited by that one the next category is uh, Hufflepuff's cub and Hufflepuff's cub was stabbed with the basilisk fang there is a lot of basilisk fangs in this book and that one I need to read a book featuring a creature with a fang I'm reading hunting Prince Dracula again still anyway <laughs> book number five is uh, Rowena's Diadem and it was burned in a fire so you need to uh, read a book featuring fire no I had this is a little little bit of a twist because I begged people online I'm like I have never read this book somebody tells me there's fire somebody tell me there's fire somewhere in the book and I think they mentioned that there was fire somewhere like uh, on an island somewhere that they saw natives with fire <laughs> so I'm trying to I'm going to read it and see what happens and if not I'll find another book but I'm reading 20,000 leagues under the sea and I get to see <laughs> this is a total cop out it doesn't feature fire it just has fire somewhere in it so I'm like just tell me somewhere some anywhere I don't care if it's like there's a fireplace somewhere if it's a candle doesn't matter somebody tell me somewhere there's fire in this book so if you know, like, please leave a message in the comments. I would love to know if you know, after reading Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, if there is fire somewhere in this book that you know of. Like, even, like, tell me. I'm dying to know. Don't tell me where. Just tell me, yes. Yes, there's fire in the book. Yes. You're all right. Because I don't know. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, number six, of course, the sixth is Nagini and Nagini was beheaded and so we have to read a book about a beheading and I'm reading rereading Thunderhead because that is a major plot point in the book is the beheading so super excited by that again I know it's I know that I'm doing it again for the monster thon but like I don't know there's a lot of like that's the highlight of of readathons is there's so many there's so many like 
that I'm doing the wibbly wobbly timey wimey thing for no reason. But there's so many ways that you can like encompass other readathons, so it's good. Anyway, uh, number seven, uh, Harry Potter was killed by the Elder Wand, so you just have to read a book with a death. And I'm reading a book called, uh, and I think I did it during the, now I'm like, where did I put it, where did I put it? I'm reading a book called uh, by book or by crook and it's the haunted library mysteries and it's really good like it's I'm, I'm only like four chapters in but it's really cute again cozy mystery but this one has an interesting spin like normally when you read a cozy mystery there's um a death or there's like a major change sometimes there's a death sometimes there's a, a divorce or a breakup or a job change or something like that and this one she is she just graduated Harvard and so she's just going to where her job where she can use her degree so it's kind of interesting like I kind of like it but it's good that she doesn't have this huge tragic heartbreaking backstory <laughs> she just happens to go where the job is so it's really interesting and uh if I finish it I'll probably recommend it anyway so um already I'm four chapters in and there's been a death so I'm reading that one for this one and our bonus is um Quirrell Professor Quirrell was burned by Harry's touch he wasn't necessarily Horcrux but he did have well, for if you haven't seen it it's a spoiler but I don't know why you wouldn't have seen it but he's got the thing on the he's got Voldemort I guess out of his head so yeah um, and this one ha features love or sacrifice, and I'm reading Girl of Nightmares for that one. So, um, and of course that one has a major sacrifice and love and fighting. Anyway, so that's the one I'm reading for that. So I, as you can see, I've got a lot of reading to do this month, not as much as last month. G from Book Roast got her diplomas put up and I'm going to go and print one off at the library because I am super stoked and I am a nerd. And I'm probably going to frame it and hang it on my wall and be like, look, alchemist. I was an alchemist for a whole year. And next year, I don't know, whatever is next alphabetically. That's the only reason. Like, if you're, if, if you're wondering why I chose to do 18 books in a month, that's why. Because, not because I was extra. Not because I really wanted to be an alchemist. But I literally just went, all right, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's start first alphabetically. Alchemist. Done done I'll be alchemist and then she's like it's the hardest one with like 17 books and I'm like why am I doing this to myself why have I decided I'm going to do seven like oh my goodness anyway so I did it but it was hard and it was fun and now next year it's gonna be like I did the hardest one so next year it's gonna be easy so I'm gonna have a lot of fun next year that's it for me. Uh, if you like this and you're excited that I'm actually doing more content, yay, give me a like and thumbs up. I'm so close to 100. I'm so close to 100. I would love to do a giveaway. I've been working on different things, different hats, different fun stuff that I would love to give, give away. So if we get up to 100, like and share, like, ring the bell, whatever, subscribe. And uh, I gotta go and do some shopping and do some library stuff. Knowledge is power. Support your local library. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.